Hey, what up? I'm Easy Jamez, Coach Smed. I'll be coming to you live from our PS3. It is currently week three, which will be episode four of our Gonzaga Restricted Dynasty hey, that series. It, it, the, the title, it, it gets convoluted. Uh, we lost to Oregon, man. We lost. We tried. We fought hard. Man, Dez. I talked to him before the game, and I said, yo, all right, in, in the first game, we ran for 300. We were kind of, we were carried by our running game. Our running backs, Womack, uh, Johnson, and Marroquin. They, they carried the offense. They took advantage of what Washington State was giving us, and we were successful. Offense has been doing what it does. Um, last week, I kind of felt like we weren't going to be able to run the ball successfully. Oregon, they were just too, so much better than us up front. Uh, they were going to be able to shoot gaps. They were going to be able to eat up double teams. They were going to be able to shed us. They were just going to be able to make it really hard for our running backs to consistently gain yards. I went to Dez. I said, hey, bro, we're going to need to throw the ball. And he performed way beyond what I what I, what I was expecting. Uh, the young guys, Marshall and Payne, both got going in the passing game. Uh, Marshall's consistency underneath, especially uh, the route running, the the, the 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 cutting, you know, taking advantage of the linebackers, and then Payne showing off the Jets. He, you know, he also showed off the hands, eh, eh. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, we weren't able to stop them defensively. They're just it was they, they had a bunch of guys. They're tough to tackle. They're tough to run with. We, we got no pass rush. We really couldn't deal with their run game when they wanted to score they pretty much scored and the game wasn't as close as it ultimately was but well at least on the scoreboard but we battled and that's all we can hope to do um yo shout out to you to to the uh, inaugural recruiting class you guys have been on it uh some of you more than others but this week's points were added uh let's go let's go we're just we're gonna go to go by position Dez once again he's been, he's, he's a humble dude he's a humble guy he has not he's opted not to add to the player he's just gonna let the uh progression go organically uh Womack put his point into strength and uh another one into awareness he didn't use one for the first week so we gave him those points he put it into strength and awareness his overall did not go up yet Johnson put his second point into uh, speed. He's now up to 69 overall, and it fits what he does for us. He's our speed guy. He's the he's the elusive guy, and he's, he's a change of pace. Womack, the more balanced guy, and then of course Marroquin, our power guy. Uh, as far as the receivers go, Payne gained an, gained an awareness point, and then he also put his second point into speed. Marshall, another one into agility, and bumped his his overall up to 69. So hey, our, our slot receiver is coming, uh, coming along just fine. The possession guy, not so much about the speed, more about the route running, the agility, getting in and out of his cuts, and uh, making plays over the middle. Defensively, Mr. Eanes still, hey, hey got to gotta talk to me, man. Where, where, are you, where are you trying to improve, my guy? Where are you trying to improve, you know? You know? You know? You uh, know? Same thing with Enna. Decided not to uh, use anything this week, but we'll see next week. And Mr. Ware into awareness and speed. So, so far, you know, how we do it with the recruits, you know, I, I we assume you're going to be watching. Everybody has been mad engaged. Just go look at the comment section. I'm loving it. I love, you know, the way you guys are just back and forth. It, it's, it's hilarious. Like, I get a kick out of it. Like, I'm at work. I get a notification. And I'm just like, wow, these dudes. Um, watch the video. Like the video. And then in the comment section, let me know where you want to put an attribute point every week. So that's 14 points over the course of a season. Now, the homies came up with an idea, and I think I'm going to roll with it. We have to cap the forbidden uh, attribute points which is usually speed and awareness because guys might go a little crazy like example somebody going from 81 speed to 95 in a, in a single season not very realistic okay and a lot of what we want to do is realistic so one of the homies came up with the idea 
hey let's let's put a, a plus two cap on speed and then maybe a plus two cap on awareness so that you really have to you know look at your player and say okay i need to improve this and it may be something minute you know but it adds up over time you know i might, I might need to improve my strength my agility my 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 block shed my my zone coverage my jump you know my 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 throw accuracy um we may have to put a cap quarterbacks may be different we may because honestly the overall jumps real fast with your you know when you when you raise your throw power and your throw accuracy so we may also have to cap that as well i don't know yet we can't tell because mr dead like i said justin Dez, he's been he's so <laughs> He's just, a desert. He's, he's just a humble dude. He's like, he's like, yo, I'm more concerned with winning. Uh, and that's another thing. Uh, the guys who join the recruiting classes, who, who also produce content, uh, quarterback Justin Desiring, his his page I put in the description. It's Justin Des. Our wide receiver Zach Marshall, same thing in the uh, in the description. And uh, Darius Johnson, he does uh, League of Legends and go check out his channel it's also in the description shout out to you guys keep 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 going uh <laughs> keep doing what you're doing in the comment section i'm loving it so this week we got washington washington is a different beast than oregon was they're they're more they're closer to washington state in the sense that they're more they're more conservative but the focus isn't so much on the guys on the outside, right? Like Oregon running backs, wide receivers, they're going to be on a lot of pro days. Washington, yes, but it's like they've got these giant linemen, two, two D tackles, 305, 293. You know, Washington is a weird one because they're the type of team you look at this you know you don't really see how good they are until you're playing them uh and then they get boot, good nice boost from their from their coach trees young quarterback jake browning we're gonna try to rattle him even though he's got good awareness for a freshman we're gonna try to rattle him they've got some pretty good running backs uh some names you'll you'll you'll, you'll recognize miles gaskin one of those guys but again these power backs these are tough for us to deal with a guy who's 222 with 92 speed acceleration agility that's that's tough for us man we, we 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 don't we don't do well when those running backs are coming out from behind those linemen of course john ross the speed uh we're gonna have to keep somebody way up top all three of their top receivers and then a couple of guys beyond that also have the speed to really give us problems and stretch our zones we have switched our defense we've gone from the three the three four base defense to the three three five which means we'll be playing a, another strong safety and that's because we want to be much more aggressive up front we want to we're, we're smaller we're going to use our speed and that's how we're going to compete with these teams because one thing we learned last week is that we have no business being on the field with oregon this year we will see next year but there's not much we can do with those guys now Looking at Washington's offensive line, we're gonna we're gonna start switching up how we attack with uh, Mr. Ware. Yeah, we're gonna have to start we're gonna start creating matchups on guys who are not strong pass blockers, so we can get off that that finesse move, get to the quarterback, get some pressure because we don't want to send five and six every play. You know, that, that that's not gonna be good for us. Uh, defensively, I think we can get them with the corners. They've got you know smart corners, high zone ratings. But they're not, their overalls are not that great. Now, the problem with going against Washington as opposed to Washington State, Buda Baker covers so much space. So much space. Even Clay, that guy can, he covers a lot of space. And they're all 6'1", 6'2", type guys, which kind of changes the range they can cover. So we have to be condescending that in the passing game. I think we're going to... Gonna, you know, we want to be balanced, but I think we're gonna get most of our success in the run game this week. Maybe go back to this this three-headed monster we got. Obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll take our shots, but I think that's gonna be the game plan going into it, and then we'll just go from there, adjust. You know, once again, you know, we we, we, we do mad adjustments at halftime, and we'll see how that goes. So, on to Washington. I as he should, Herbie 
he's not gonna pick us, bro. Not yet. Not yet. Looking at our offense, mad, mad balance. Two oh, averaging two oh five on the ground, two oh eight through the air. Granted, we've had one game where we were three hundred on one side, a hundred on the other, and then we flip flopped the second game. Defensively, not very good. We're giving up close to four hundred seventy, you know, almost four hundred sixty two a game. It, it has not been good. Adjustments are being made. We'll see what's up. The Washington's pass D has been stingy. They're not even getting up 100 yards a game yet. But they've only played one game, and we don't know who that has been against yet until now. It was, ah, ironically, Boise State, our gatekeeper. They just beat them down. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that, that's okay. That's okay. We expect to compete, man. We, we've competed in both games. Both were, you know, one-possession games. Uh, Washington, they were they were pretty, you know, pretty efficient offensively. Uh, Perkins, we got we got to keep him. Perkins, Ross, uh, Geddes, we, we we gotta we gotta identify where those guys are and keep safeties up top. We're just we're just, we're just gonna have to. And when we're aggressive, we gotta get there. We offensively, we've been very efficient offensively. Not a lot of turnovers. Uh, Desiree has, has yet to throw a, an actual interception where it was a, a bad read. He's just been consistently productive for us, taking care of the ball, getting the ball out to these playmakers. Womack has been very strong on the ground, leading our, our three-headed rushing attack. Uh, Marshall in the slot, he just, he's pretty much been Mr. Reliable for us. Of course, on defense, Kenneth in all over the place. Uh, Mixon should have two picks, but we got robbed, and of course, Eans leads us in sacks. It's just one, but it beats like zero. So <laughs> we'll see what's up. Uh, yeah, let's get to it, man. Gonzaga at Washington. Let's go. Most picturesque venues in the entire sport. You are taking a live look at Husky Stadium right now as we get set for our showdown today. Both teams on the field. Coaches making sure everybody's locked in on the game plan. Husky Stadium located here in Seattle, where these fans are going crazy as these teams take the field. Instead of him, we're going to do it like this. Scrambling Make him scramble. Loose football. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I don't know who caused that. that we had Ware, Eans, and Inna there. Don't do me like that. No, I don't. This no, fight. not. I tell no. You, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. You know what chaps my ass? After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Oh, so man, I was all excited. Agreed. The runner's knee was down. Ready? He scrambled. Go get him. He's gonna be sacked for a loss. Go get him. Ah, oh, it is in him with the sack, but he also grabbed the face mask. Oh man. We zone blitz. We, we showed a uh, where to the left tackle. And, the defense gives up and apparently he has his offense. respect, but uh, you know, penalties can no. draw. Brought down at the 28 yard line. Good D, good D. Way to be solid. Uh <clears throat> and again. Ball is loose. Fumble. Another fumble. Let's go. And that's exactly what this this one's got to stick. Yeah, that this one's got to stick. Come on, man. Reward us. Decides to come out with some urgency. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. I don't know, dog. I was looking down at my phone. I wasn't paying attention. Another one? That's twice. No, we're, we're, we're playing so good. We're not, yo. I'm not going to say the refs are doing that thing to us, but I will say they're doing that thing to us. We need to put him here. No. No. That... I need my flat defend. That, that time it was Eans. I need our flat defenders. He, he honestly should have been ready to just absolutely destroy him. Oh, 
Uh, I thought we played that better, but I, I I saw pancakes. I don't know who that was. Let's see. They just bullied us up front. Another one of those, had he been able to break the tackle, who he might still be running. Okay, we got Mansfield in the slot. We've got Payne running the dig. I don't like Payne on the dig. Okay, they're in man. Yeah, just threw it away. Nowhere to really go. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And they get the sack. Who gets who's, who's, who's the sack on that? Is that our defensive end? Mr. Hayes. Our upperclassman getting a good push with Mr. Ware. Almost. Almost, Jay. We almost got you. Okay, we got to flip the outside backers again. Oh. Pay attention to my my coverage right there, because the the big dig was coming. Once again, a better pass rush. But uh, yo, pay attention to me being ridiculous out there. Uh, all right, now we're, we're gonna we're gonna attack the run, soft box. Good double team, good pickup on the backer. He makes it to the 35 yard. Probably a premature cut, but you know what? Payne run the slant. Nice, 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 nice. You got smiked. You got smiked. But uh, good throw, good pocket. Good timing. That's that's our offense, man. That's our offense. Completely. Completely. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. We ran right at the zone blitz. Another solid run. They uh they audible down. I don't like anything outside, so we're just gonna we're just gonna force this. See if we can find a gap. Just any kind of inch. We were able, you know, no free no free guys. I was gonna dive, but bro, they would have uh they would have turned him into a helicopter. Nah, stay, stay, stay up. Okay. Oh, bad read by Mr. Browning. I don't know what he was seeing. I don't know what he was seeing, but we were definitely in sync. I don't know if he thought our corner was just going to, I thought. I don't know if he thought we were in a flat. It's a young quarterback making a bad read. Even here? All right, we, we will take that. I don't like the... Uh, Oh my gosh, Buda Baker, leave leave Trent alone. That dude, his his movements are so sudden, like he, he'll be 10 yards away and then boom. We gotta take our points, especially if Browning's gonna give us a chance by throwing into cover two. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about This could be stick. Oh wow. Oh, I see you, Mr. Eads. <laughs> Yo, Browning, what are, you, what are you doing with your life? Can we get a pass rush? We took the short throw. We did, we, we did what we needed to do. I saw that dig coming over the middle, and I was thinking, please, please do it. We're going to just do it. He didn't beat him, and we couldn't we couldn't get a spec. I think if it's zone, we're gonna throw the slant immediately, and then if it's man, we're gonna we're gonna go with Marshall. 
in traffic doesn't quite have it. I also didn't trust our other read on the left. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. Yes, sir. There on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver. We got a We're getting more pass rush. We're confusing the offensive line. We're confusing the quarterback. Trap dude. Another good run by Womack. When you're running the ball for another good run by Womack. Like that, you've got something working. What? Can we pick it up? Oh, oh, oh wow, Trent, 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 chill, bro. <laughs> Tired of them tackling me. First guy, I see him fucking him. Um, um, we'll get some points here, and yeah, we're gonna take them. We're at play number nine of this current drive. The Bulldogs running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game, and he got it. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Wait till you see what's happened in Austin. And for Gray, he rushed for a touchdown. The Longhorns claim the win. 13-10. We played like he's uh, warming up. It's halftime. You know what that means. Like the video if you haven't already. Doesn't cost you a thing. Comment. I'm not Hollywood. I usually comment back. Share the video wherever you, you watch videos, Reddit, Twitter, uh, Facebook, wherever. And sub if you're not already subbed. Washington is playing very similar to Washington State. I, I knew they were a more conservative defense, but they got a dude back there, Buda Baker, who is just, I think he make, he's making all the tackles, and he's kind of taking away a whole half of the field because I don't want to throw the ball anywhere near him. Just his speed, acceleration, awareness, zone cover. I don't want to deal with that. That dude can absolutely, if he's in the middle of the field, he can get all the way to the sideline the second I throw the ball. So we're just taking what they give us, and what they keep giving us is the football. Like they have literally almost every drive given us the ball. Even even when the refs took the ball away from us based on rules and technicalities, we were taking the ball away. So... Right now, defense is playing lights out. Uh, granted, Washington, they're, they're, like I said, conservative offenses are not going to have a good time against us because we do have some guys who, you know, we can scheme into being better than their overall says. So, at least for the time being, I think we're going to we're going to stay consistent with our defense. We're just going to keep mix up, mixing up these zone blitzes, keep bringing these exotic looks, these safeties, these linebackers. You know, sometimes Enna's going to come up the middle. Sometimes he's going to sit back. Sometimes Ware's going to come. Sometimes going to, hey, sometimes he'll drop. Browning can't make the read right now. And we're just going to stick with it. Uh, offensively, stay the course. Just stay the course. Our offense is simple. It's, uh, it's really no secret what we're going to do. You just kind of decide for us. And then we'll attack you. You know, we have different ways of attacking same looks. But... We'll take what you give us the entire game. No problem. So uh, second half, let's get it. But we're going to show trips to the field and run counter. We got to protect our right tackle. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Wow. Okay, so that's just a dude making a play. You can't put that on Trent. What? Look at We pulled the guard, and then that defensive end who's been destroying our tackle then makes that play, like reaches out and grabs Trent. So hopefully that wasn't really a fumble. I was waiting on the comeback too long. That's what happened there. And oh, uh, insta shed in the middle. Just a bad matchup. Our guards are good with their, you know, at picking up blitzers and stuff. They're not good. Overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. 
Toss play again. We're on that. Good play, Ware. Good play. All right, once again, I'm not going to send Anna, though. Washington. Oh no. He's at the 40. Oh no. Wow. The 10. Touchdown. Wow. We were actually trying to get there and uh, there. We were definitely there. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Once it all, going deep. A little bit of confusion there. A little bit of confusion there. Hey, we I think they spotlighted pain. I think we caught them spotlighting pain. Once again, Marshall just being reliable. Just knowing he can win the slant eventually. Just knowing he can win the slant. They've got one guy who I feel like it's going to be tough for us to go at. And if he's not on Marshall, I trust Marshall to win. Okay. Oh, they ran the drag all the way across. And they make the stop. The Hayes was our was our zone dropper there, so. Ball on the 26 yard line. Get on that hash, please. Okay, it's a run. We did not. We didn't do that well. <sighs> when, when they decide to run, it is. We are just not good at defending the run. Mm. Everybody got reached. I don't know if that was power or stretch, but we all got reached. Cool. With their defensive front. When I run to the left, I got to deal with Buda Baker. I, 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 both of them are very ass chappy. Can you win this slant, Mr. Payne? I got trapped. I got trapped. They trapped me. I thought that was me and two. And by the time I realized there was a there was a player in the flat there, I should I could have been a little more patient and waited. But I you see Buddha, you see how fast Buddha's breaking on the ball. I'm not. The comeback is normally open, but not versus Buddha Baker. Throws complete. He's got room to work. I, I, yo, Pettit, uh, that's Dwayne Washington. Really? That guy's just throwing guys around. Like, what are you doing, bro? It's first down. Screen. Oh no! Oh, we got cut blocked. Oh, they put me on the wrong guy. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. We don't, this isn't like with North Texas, man. Our guys don't have the, our, our front doesn't have the speed. As a matter of fact, we got to sub them out. Uh, our defensive line does not have the speed to just turn and run. The third quarter, we've got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. Oh, they ran the ball. I, I did not want them to run the ball. Wow, tackled them at the inch line, yo. Good play, good play, good tackle. Wow, that's a four-point play right there. We'll see if that comes back. If, if that comes back to... Uh, we'll see if that comes back to haunt them. Kenny was able to get the tackle at the inch line, bro. Even after the running back decided that we are not worthy. Like, you cannot tackle me. Get myself in the The Wildcats were ranked 21st. They got like, a W, but it wasn't overly yeah. impressive. And for Arizona, they've now won three in a row. 
The Wildcats grab a win by six. Here we go. Oh, great catch. He's tackled. Nice, right nice spit catch. Line. Nice spit catch. I respect it because we've got no threats outside. The center clipped me because he got, he got no push. And I couldn't go with the run because that guy was just going to shed us. Um, and that is some kind of, yeah. Wiggles, 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 wiggles. May need to throw the ball to the flat more with Johnson. We shouldn't get cute, but we're going to get cute. All right. It, well, if it's man, we're throwing the pain. Man. Touchdown, and that gives him the lead. Can't play off man against us, bro. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the... He's scrambling. He's hit and taken down. Again, Kenny with the big hit. Couldn't. I wanted. I want to see fumbles because we're hitting them. Oh, five receivers. We. You know we're bringing. We're bringing the wood. Oh no. Man, our fr our front three just do they're almost non-existent. They're almost non-existent. It's the tailback. Nice run there. Good one on one tackle by Eans, but really getting exposed here up front. Uh let's get Okay. Please throw. Touchdown. And now they're winning. Cornerback completely nowhere near. I, I know I put him in essentially cover two, but that's kind of the only guy in your zone, my guy. They're gonna need about three yards to pick up. I wanna do this down. away from Baker. Uh if if I see Baker Rotate to the middle of the field. I'm throwing the ball to Payne. Oh, he went immediately. I'm just going to throw it out there. Mm. Got to get that out deeper. Got to get that out deeper. Okay, so, yeah. I wasn't, fake. I wasn't faked out. They haven't blitzed us. So, I don't think I can run the screen. But I'm going to run the screen. And of course, guys on it. Nobody blocked him. Three guys right by that guy. Nobody blocked him. Yeah, I shouldn't have called the screen. Because they haven't been They've just been rushing four and dropping. See if they give me this. Okay, let's do what we can. I just need to get in field goal range. Because I. Alright, so five is right there on my. It'll be on my center. Hopefully he doesn't insta shed us. He's taken down. They shot the 22. gap through the backside. That sucks. Anti-free skill activated. Let's see. This is the 13th oh no. Play of this drive. If I miss this, it's because I suck. The kick is but up. I don't. And he's got it. It's been years since I've kicked one of those. I normally just let the game decide, but we made the field goal. Okay, so we're playing for overtime. Oh uh, no, it's a draw. We shot the gap, but I guess it was the wrong one. Still, still held serve. Still has serve. Third and long. I need to figure out how to not blow this coverage or not. And, and all right, so we get a touchdown, we win. We don't score, we lose. We get a touchdown. Uh, we get a field goal. We go to another overtime. Oh, 
We did not. I don't know what my left. What did my center and left guard do? Left guard is just, is just watching the back here. If we're not going to be able to get up to the second level, their guys, they're doing what I need our guys to do. They're, they're protecting that linebacker, and he's able to just kind of do whatever he wants to. Uh, um, what? Oh no! Get up, Darius! Get up, Darius! I, I have to kick the field goal because I do not trust. My offensive line. The kick is up, and the I don't trust us versus good. their defensive line. Because we, we don't have our guys. We don't run mesh much. Mm. You know what, Keith? Go right up the seam, and I might just throw this to you. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. <laughs> I think that was cover six. I think that was what I was reading. I just went with it. So the offense steps up and gets a big six point. Wow. Okay, I'm on verticals. He's gonna try and scramble. And they got it. Good play. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. We're gonna have to cover the entire middle of the field with Eanes. With a quick throw. It's picked off. Browning threw it right to me. Browning threw it right to me. He's just a freshman. We'll see him for three more, four more years. Hopefully he learns from this. Three interceptions. Yeah, coach him up. <laughs> he held up a three. <laughs> <laughs> performance today right now Kirk the nation is watching and oh wow bro you're number three like you know it's three times god damn it more importantly I think his team's going to be able to continue to build their offense around him another strong game for Justin Desiree so that wraps things up for us oh man but this one the dog of the week is going to our defense we'll see you next time another game in the books for for our team we sweep the Washington schools we, we, we own, we are the kings of Washington right now. Spok Spokane, Washington. Inaugural season, 63 overall. We own Washington. And it's, it's uh, mostly quarterback play. Neither one of their quarterbacks helped themselves. I don't know what Browning was doing. Like, yeah, we were switching up our defenses, but I don't know what Browning was doing. To throw three picks... He wasn't under massive pressure, I don't believe. I'll have to go back and look at the interceptions. I don't think we were all over him. But, uh, yeah, man. I mean, in, in offense, some, something's up with our, our stamina, bro. The, the, whole, the fourth quarters, our guys are just not on the field. Uh, Marshall and Payne were just not on the field. The reason Keith is running that route instead of Marshall is because stamina. Uh, it was another tough game trying to run the ball. We, we, we tried. We tried. We, we ran. We ran into a brick wall 38 times. We tried, but they just kept. Their defensive line was keeping their linebackers clean, and their linebackers were shooting the gap. Buda Baker was coming up, making plays that. Another safety, maybe we, you know, we're five, another five, ten yards downfield. Buda was there, and he was not missing tackles. Our passing game was efficient again. Uh, we didn't turn the ball over, which is ultimately the difference in the game. Because they turned the ball over three times, almost unnecessarily. I, I just I don't know what Browning was seeing. We only gave up 183 through the air. Our, definitely our best defensive game so far. Because I believe our first game versus Washington State, we gave up 358 through the air. Against Oregon, we gave up over 300 on the ground. This game, 155, 183. Uh, third down, we were meh. But uh, that, those three extra possessions, all interceptions. I, I don't know what to, I don't know what you say to the kid other than hey, you slap his wrist and you say stop that. <laughs> uh, look at some of some of our player stats. Like I said, Dez efficient, 81%. A lot of short, uh, high percentage throws. Got us going. Hit the big one where they spotlighted Payne. I guess they felt like Payne was the threat. 
and that Mansfield wasn't going to run a seam. So when Payne, about 12 yards, starts running it out, the safety bit down on his, on the deep out, and Mansfield just ran by him. And it, it was a half second. You know, he he stopped to look to, to deal with the out, and then when I saw it, I was like, oh, well, we're taking that shot. Uh, the running backs, kind of by committee. I don't know if Darius, I don't know what's up with Darius. We never got an update, so I might have to look. I, I, I hope he's okay. Uh, Womack, it was it was a lot of tough runs, just nowhere to run. Our offensive line is getting tossed around. Just getting, oh man, just making it rough. Receiver, strong game from Payne and Mansfield. Uh, Marshall, not so much. When they, when they play zone, that's not going to be his strong suit. It's usually when, when we're playing a man team, that's when Marshall get, can get busy because he does have uh, solid route running. Uh, Mansfield with the big 75-yard play, that's most of his yards. And then, of course, Payne just, just kind of like slowly becoming a guy. He he only runs three routes. It, it's either you're running the you, you're getting the tunnel screen, you're running a curl, you're running a go. That's kind of what we do with him. Two drops. Hey, it's, it's kind of is what it is right now. But, uh... Then defensively, we were good. We were really good. Of course, Enna leading the defense. He's all over the place. Um, had a pick by Eanes. One of those plays where it's just like, I'm, I'm good at this. <laughs> I'm a coverage backer. The switch to the 335 freed, freed up Eanes and uh, Enna more, but it would free them up even more if we had better guys up front. I mean, Hayes got to be better uh caps got to be better like you just got to be better we're, we're doing pretty good in the back end we're, we're defending but we're defending for so long like against a better team that that hurts us but against washington it works so we're able to get the dub we run washington already uh we'll see if we'll be able to, to sustain that that that's, that's part of this restricted dynasty is that i don't i, I don't i think our offensive line may be worse next year our defense line may be worse next year I, I don't know guys i just i don't know it is really hard to recruit people to spokane washington to play football but we're gonna have to do it because i i assume uh washington washington state who are coming to spokane next year because we own washington i I assume they're going to come back with a vengeance. They're, they're going to be much stronger. They're, they're off season. They, they have the athletic facilities. They're just they're just better. They're just going to come back better, bigger, stronger, faster. They're out recruiting us. They're taking kids. We, 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 we go after a kid, and then as soon as Washington starts targeting them and puts, it puts their points into them, we lose. So we get the dub. Uh, like the video. Comment. Share. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe.